Okay, we are here on this same free enlightenment program. Today we are here to talk about uh, Jactopha seed. Jactopha seed is a common plant. We, the, the previous video we talk about the Jactopha plant itself, how to treat ulcer and all that. But if you are new on this channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you share with friends and family. Make sure you drop a comment below. Thank you. Keep on watching. We are talking about the seed, how to harvest the seed, how to dry it, how to extract the oil today. So on this video, look at the amazing Jaktofa seed here. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And Jaktofa, you see, when you pluck Jaktofa, it have to grow up to nine months before. Because this one is nine months old. You can see it is nine months old. You can get the, the way I'm harvesting my own in the morning. I'm going to show you how to harvest the seed today. I will show you how to dry the seed. And then I will show you how to extract the oil. Jaktofa, you see, they use it for bulb fur and all that. They use it for so many things. They use the waste product for feeds, for, for vitamin, for fertilizer and all that. Look at the amazing seed here. Keep on watching. Let me show you how we harvest the seed in our farm. Uh, this is my farm. You can look at the amazing green fruit. This one have not yet ripe. This one have not yet mature, but it's coming to mature. Jack Tofa, you see, we have used it for both where in many Asian countries in uh, we North America. We have this uh, project we are following up now to link up, to collaborate, to make sure we join together with this company in US, which is uh, United Balfour, which is UBA. We are talking with them now so that we can be supplying them with this uh, seed. And we are still looking forward to meet other companies in Mali. We are talking with other companies in Uganda, talking about the same Jaktofa seed, how to. Because we use Jaktofa seed for the Balfour. We use it for diesel engines. We use it for the bow leftover. After we bring out the oil, we use it for fertilizer. And we use it as, again for bow gas as well, for cooking in the kitchen. To bring out gas and then we use it for fertilizer we use it for feet as well so i'm harvesting the seed this morning we are looking forward to other companies because it is very medicinal even now you cut up the junk tofa like this at the long run you realize that it will produce water the water we went to Kwame Kuma university at the kumasi we do our research since uh, 2014 we realize that they have this anti-cancer fighting properties because the key cancer cells. And then uh, these cosmetic companies, they have been requesting for it as well. And we are looking forward to more cosmetic companies for soap making, for cream making. You can look at the Japtofa gel. We can see set up another factory just for the oil, how to extract just the water from the Japtofa to produce soaps, to produce oil and all that. But now we are still, we are working towards harvesting the seed more and getting the seed more. So this morning I came out to harvest the seed of the Jaktofa. We are looking forward to more companies in Africa to link up with them. Don't be afraid to invest your money in with us because Jaktofa, you see, it grows everywhere and it is natural and it grows, it grows well because it even gives more moisture in the soil as well. Keep on watching. I'm going to show you the other side of the farm. Look at the Jaktofa, the other side of the farm. You can see, I'm harvesting the seed this morning. You can see the other side of the farm. And we have about uh, 20 hectares with going on cultivation as well. Talking about the same Jaktofa. We have uh, a project that we are looking forward to, to bring in farmers to cultivate Jaktofa to help African farmers. Because this is our culture. We have all it, it takes. We have the soil as Africans. We are blessed with agri, agri business. We have to go into agri processing, agri-planting, and agri-processing as well here in Africa. So I'm going to show you the dry Jaktofa seed. seed. I harvested, uh, I'm, going to I'm show drying you this seed. morning. They were the fresh one I just brought this morning. These are the fresh ones I brought this morning. You can look at the fresh ones, the greens are there. 
Look at the greens, they are very natural. You can look at the greens I'm talking about. Then you can look at the dry ones here. And see the dry ones, I, it has already dry. I have to get the jactofa seed itself. As earlier I told you earlier on, we use jactofa seed for bow fuel. We use it, the waste product, the bow waste product, we use it for bow gas to cook at home. And then uh, we use the oil as well for cosmetic products. As I was telling you earlier on, we have this UBA company, this uh, United Bow Gas company in America, which is, we are talking with them right now. We have this other company in uh, Mali that produce uh, jactofa seeds. We have this other company in Uganda. We are talking to, to link up with them to supply them with the seeds. And you can look at the seed here, you can actually light them at home like a candle. Because of the oil, of the bow gas, the bow fuel, the chemical that the seeds have. So you can use it at home and then you scare away mosquitoes as well. When you burn the seeds, you scare away mosquitoes. I'm going to show you the ones I already have. We have about uh, 400 to 500 kg now down on processed ones, the seeds I'm talking about, the processed seeds. So, follow. You can look at the seed here, the, the dry one we are talking about. We have about, uh, you can look at the bags. We have about 400 to 500 kg already now, ready for market. So, if you need a seed, you can contact us or you inbox us on our email. We'll check on our website, uh, repamgh.com. You can see inbox us, you call us, or you WhatsApp. You can join us on all social media platforms. And join us on um, uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and the rest. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share with friends, share with family. Drop a comment below what you think about Africa, what you think about African medicine, African culture and African tradition.